Today, I will analyze how Roaring Kitty, using recent options data, is poised to independently trigger a squeeze in AMC and GameStop stocks. The OC is making a strong effort to prevent him. Stay tuned for updates and let's profit from this situation. However, before we go, allow me to immediately address the crucial information. Jake expressed on Twitter that he believes he has a clear understanding of someone's actions, which he had previously pondered, and that the release of their YOLO update will provide confirmation. According to him, an individual purchased a significant number of $10 call options in May when the price was around $10. Roar and Cat probably sold those calls, along with the $20 calls, in order to purchase the 5 million shares that he owns. Currently, he is likely purchasing the $25 calls and selling the $20 calls. Currently, this is the ongoing situation. That is an excellent thesis. But does it have any empirical evidence to back it up? To obtain the latest information about raising Kitty's YOLO update, we must patiently await its release on Reddit. Nevertheless, upon careful analysis, the Bronx Viking has uncovered evidence indicating that an individual is significantly devaluing GameStop's $50 call options, which have a July 19th expiration date, by a substantial amount of $2.7 million. It is evident that some individual has been acquiring a significant number of $50 call options, potentially reaching into the thousands. The provided screenshot demonstrates that more than 5,000 call options have been bought today alone. Furthermore, there is an atypical occurrence when, one hour ago, a substantial amount of $3.2 million was invested in purchasing $50 call options. Currently, the most favored option contract is the $30 calls that will expire on Friday. Now, what about the other perspective? It has come to our attention that there is significant buying activity in various options, including considerable quantities. However, we are curious to know if these same options are also being sold in substantial volumes. The Bear made a brief statement on Twitter suggesting that Kit might be selling due to a significant amount of selling activity in the $20 call options. This selling activity consists of repeated orders for 5,000 options, similar to what we previously observed Kit entering into. In a recent video, I discussed the purchase of 5,000 contract bullets for $20 call options, which are now being auctioned. It is possible that Kit is purchasing $50 calls, $30 calls, $30 calls, and other interesting options, but in lower quantities. In my opinion, it is possible that a hedge fund has been acquiring a significant quantity of these $20 call options in little increments over the recent days with the intention of selling them all at once, thereby creating the illusion of being a successful investor like Kitty. We witness a substantial quantity of options being sold concurrently in the 5,000 round. We all feel he is selling because we have only observed a considerable number of trades since Kitty yelled. Nevertheless, as previously stated, what if a hedge fund has been acquiring these options in smaller portions with the intention of accumulating a substantial quantity that can subsequently be sold in a single transaction, thereby creating the illusion that Crazy Kitty is facing financial distress? However, there is evidence indicating that Screaming Kitty may be acquiring additional co-options, such as the $30 and $50 call options, while also selling the $20 call options. Using that approach, Screaming Kitty has the potential to single-handedly exert significant pressure on GameStop. He might accomplish this by acquiring extended duration, less expensive call options. Tiffany, who frequently issues supplementary notifications, designated me as Wizard and Alpha. She notified me that via daily observation and strict adherence to specific criteria, she had transformed $110,000 into $163,000. This is the most powerful tip or message ever delivered by the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group. Tiffany became a member of the organization in February and has since been a member for a few months. She executed her responsibilities with meticulousness and assiduity. She has made significant progress since that time. This represents a substantial gain, only obtained from transactions like the one I conducted on LGVN today, resulting in a 95% return on investment. The sole factors of significance are adhering to the regulations, implementing stringent stop losses, and allowing profitable outcomes to persist. To achieve financial success, gentlemen, I invite you to join the Millionaire Minimum Trading Group by accessing the link provided in the description below. The Bronx Viking also presented an alternative hypothesis or perspective concerning the objective of these sales and the potential intentions of Red Kit in engaging in them presently. What are the consequences if Rose and Kitty chooses not to engage in a gamma squeeze on GameStop by refraining from buying the older high-stride call options? Will he utilize the funds from the sale of some of the options to exercise the other ones? Over 55, um, 
8000 GameStop Store's $20 call option contracts were closed out today or roughly half of the Roaring Kitty's position if it was him selling. And if it was him selling, is it time to exercise the other 60-ish T? Triple zero calls with all the cash he just raised through the selling that be another great way too. Put these market makers in big trouble by exercising 60. Con a triple zero call option contracts making the market makers buy him 6 million shares as I said as Bigham has added. It seems the OC is desperately trying to prevent Roaring Kitty from exercising these calls. So there's an update to the OC's rule policy that says as of May 28, 2024, aka just a couple of weeks. Ago, the regular exercise settlement date for physical delivery stock options is the first business day after exercise, but more specifically. What I wanted to draw your attention to is this paragraph here that BAMS has highlighted so it says the OCC has the authority to postpone settlement of any option on any type of underlying interest when the OCC considers such action to be necessary in the public interest or to meet unusual. Conditions okay the OCC can postpone settlement where the exercise of an option they can only do such if it's necessary to be done in the public interest. Now obviously you have to ask what their definition of public interest really is. Is it in the public interest of the hedge funds to delay or postpone this settlement? Is it in our public interest? No, let roaring exercise the cause, but is it in the public interest or the private interest of the hedge funds? Most likely, and is the OCC, the SECC, FINRA, the DTCC, and everybody else working with, or working for the hedge funds, or working with, or working for us, most likely the hedge funds, it will be intriguing to observe whether they endeavor to have a resounding impact. Kitty ceased to comply with the new regulation. I am curious in the strategies he will employ to increase the value of GameStop stock, if he decides to do so. If they do not attempt to restrict his practice, I am curious about the circumstances that would prompt market makers to purchase 6 or 12 million shares of his stock at this time. Furthermore, Proven Bull inquired, do you comprehend the implications of GameStop's successful share distribution? He claims that there is significant buying pressure, as demonstrated by the acquisition of an additional 75 million shares in a span of only three trading days. Throughout the day, this has resulted in the price increasing to and surpassing $30 per share. Short sellers have attempted to manipulate the stock prices of AMC and GameStop by selling an additional 75 million shares at a reduced price. However, with the acquisition of those shares by ordinary individuals, the price is once again increasing. Citron Research has now announced on Twitter that they have ceased their short position on GameStop. I understand that these youngsters are starting to get the concept of debt, as I read and elucidate. Their assurance to shareholders stems from their substantial cash reserves of $4 billion rather than relying on the expectation of improved firm fundamentals. They have acknowledged the unpredictability of the market and will continue to observe without participating, even though Bush has established a target price of $11 today. In my view, this is a pivotal juncture, as they now comprehend that GameStop possesses $4 billion in cash reserves, which is an ample amount to sustain its operations for an extended period and facilitate many acquisitions. They also acknowledge that both AMC and GameStop have sufficient liquidity to a certain degree, which prevents them from collapsing. As increasing numbers of short sellers become aware of this, they will hastily seek to exit their positions in order to be the first to close out, or more precisely, to avoid being the last to exit at the highest price. As always, gentlemen, please ensure that you activate the notification bell so that you receive alerts whenever I submit a new video. Both corporations have recognized the potential for significant financial gains through acquisitions, which will further expand their businesses, increase revenues, and boost profitability.